Please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 51 from the material of Dr. G.D. Bist. 5 seconds. Start. Sir, I think the house will be grateful to my esteemed colleague Shri Verma for bringing forward this resolution which concerns millions of agriculturists in our country and lakhs of workers engaged in the sugar industry. I think the House will recall the importance of this industry which happens to be a traditional agro-based industry in our country. If you study the development of industrialization of our country, you would agree that there are certain agro-based traditional industries which constituted industrial base of our country. In this respect, sugar industry is one, textile industry is another, and jute industry of our country happens to be yet another. So far as the sugar industry in our country is concerned, we can understand its importance from economic and fiscal point of view also. As per the information available with me, it is found that sugar industry's contribution to the union and state exchequer is approximately rupees 400 crores. Therefore, from the point of view of states or union government exchequer, this industry occupies a very important position in our country. Madam, you would also agree with me that there are more than 5 lakh workers engaged in jute industry. So far as farmers are concerned, the government should take note of the fact that it is the single largest crop in our country. It is even more than our total food production. The total average food production is around 150 million tons. So far as sugarcane production is concerned and as far as my information goes, it has touched 170 million tons. Therefore, from that point of view, the sugar industry and sugar production is very important in our country and important for our national economy. There are about 360 factories and all these are known. But two important issues are involved in this resolution. One is the remunerative price for the sugar cane. In that case, many honorable members have given the argument substantiating the charge that the government policy in matter of fixing the prices of sugar cane has harmed, prejudiced the interests of farmers. This is one of the basic reasons of instability in the sugar industry itself. It does not harm the economy of the country, but it also harms the very industry itself. Because of the availability of the sugar cane, the production has gone up. So I do not require time to explain as these are all known to them. So far as sugar industry problem is concerned, they are well known to the government. As far back as 1965, there was one inquiry commission on sugar industry. That commission has comprehensively dealt with the problem of the industry and also with the sugar cane. Therefore, my complaint or charge against the government is that they have not given full consideration to the very, very valuable report, very valuable recommendation of the commission. Madam, I do not like to point out certain important recommendations. Anyway, these recommendations are known. Stop.